Okay, we better start. Eh? Today we have to finish this topic, uh, this chapter. This chapter, there are a few important things. Eh? We are studying about the reaction of alkene. And you know, the addition can happen in syn or anti faction. Okay, so you need to be sure what type of reaction uh, produce a mixture of of uh, when? Yeah, bila bila nak bagi sekarang. Okay, okay. Uh, there is this uh, evaluation form. Uh, please help to fill it in and give any constructive comment if you like. Uh, me to improve, maybe I'm too fast or too slow, okay, uh, or maybe talking too much. Uh, yeah, some of the students say, Oh, sir, you have been talking too much. But these are the lessons you need to learn. You come to the university not only to learn chemistry, you learn how to be a good human being, okay. Okay, thanks. Okay, let's continue. Eh? So this chapter, you need to know about whether it's a sin or anti-addition. Some are a mixture of the product. Whether it's Makonikov or anti-Makonikov. Whether it's Zixus or Hoopman. Eh? These are all the tips that you will be tested in your uh, so-called your test. Okay, so you better study that. Because doctor have just said the question yesterday. All the question is in my mind. I'm very clear. So you come here. And, yeah, and I give you some tips. Yeah? This is tip, isn't it? But the very, very general tips. Basically, you have to study all, including the naming, nomenclature, and everything. Okay? So, where did we start? Uh, stop yesterday? Uh, oh, okay, we stop here, isn't it? Or maybe uh, we stop here talking about the energy levels or activation energy of carbocation. The secondary carbocation is more stable than the primary carbocation. Actually, we, we, we go even further. Stereochemistry we have covered. Did we cover this? Yes. Okay. Free radical also we have covered. Free radical get a, uh, what we call anti mechanical using HBR and a radical initiator in the presence of heat or UV light. Okay, all of these conditions must be present. If you are only using a HBR, in a different, uh, maybe using alcohol as a, as a, what we call as a solvent, uh, the result is different. So you have to pay attention whether it's a radical reaction or it's an electrophilic addition reaction. Okay, so there are two reactions using uh, the same reagent. Okay, this is a free radical uh, mechanism we have gone through already yesterday. Uh, why is it anti mechanical? Uh, yes, yesterday we stopped here. Huh? Because the tertiary, carb uh, in this case, the tertiary radical is more stable than the secondary radical. So the Br will be attached to a less substituted carbon in this case, and the H will be added to the more substituted carbon. That is why the product yield is a anti Makonikov product. Eh? Makonikov means the H is added to the carbon which have more H. Okay? So this is anti mechanical product. So we are going to proceed okay, with this. Uh, hydration, electrophilic addition of water. Okay, This one also we studied before. I hope you can work out the mechanism by your own. In this case, this is a Makonikov product also. So the mechanism, okay, mechanism uh, double bond attack the acid. You can draw the acid uh, in this way, H, uh, H3O plus, or you can only write H plus, that is fine. Okay, uh, attack here, then the H attach, uh, attached to the uh, carbon with more less substituted one. Okay, then forming a carbocation, Car more substituted carbocation. Then the water, in this case, act as a nucleophile, attack the carbocation, forming another water molecule with a plus then removal of the H from the water by another water molecule then you get a hydroxyl group added into it huh? the water added into it HOH -H. this is the uh, from the water okay so this is what we call hydration eh? mechanism of the hydration hydration means adding a water molecule eh? into the double bond so uh, 
this is the same eh, doctor have mentioned already this following the Makonikov product is formed the reason is for example this is uh, di substituted this is mono substituted so the H will be attached to the the less substituted one and the carbocation will form at the more substituted carbon in this case this is a if it was carbocation formed here it will become a primary carbocation in this case it formed at the more substituted one this is a secondary carbocation okay so the water molecule attack removal of water okay the product could be syn or anti addition okay in this case it's a syn or anti addition it's also possible okay so now we go one step further electrophilic addition of alcohol now instead this now is water eh? now is alcohol adding al alcohol that means the double bond alkene react with eh? an alcohol methanol and in the presence of the acid so the mechanism is similar okay similar with the one with using water okay because this is ROH water is H-O-H isn't it? so the first step what do you think is the first step? the double bond will attack what? attack H from where? from the alcohol? is it attack the H from the alcohol? Huh? no, uh, attack the H from the hydros uh, sulfuric acid it's the same mechanism okay? after you attack the H then the, the, the breath is the same you go back and try it out huh? then the, in this case the methanol or the alcohol act as a nucleophile. If you remember the mechanism, uh, this the the alcohol in this case this is water, but uh, the second step, second step, I mean the first step is the same generation of carbocation. The the next step will be in this case the alcohol. Okay, attack the carbocation. Then the water molecule will remove the H from the alcohol. Okay, so the mechanism is there. Is similar to the hydration, so we do not show. Okay, note that there are three consequences to the formation of carbocation intermediate. It didn't show. Eh? First, the Makonikov rules hold. Eh? That is why it's the same with the uh, hydration reaction. Second one, addition of H and OH occurs in both syn and anti fraction. This is true for the uh, hydration reaction, and it's true for the addition of alcohol. Okay, syn and anti faction. You still remember why syn? Syn being added from the same side of the double bond. Anti addition is added from the opposite side. Okay. The carbocation rearrangement can occur. Uh, this one in the addition reaction, the carbocation rearrangement can occur. So now we do not have example, but you have studied it before, isn't it? The secondary carbocation will rearrange to become a tertiary carbocation. Okay, if there is a metal group attached to it. Okay. Now we go to the the next reaction. This is a new reaction you have not studied before, because the hydration reaction you have studied before, isn't it? Huh? Hydration and dehydration they are the the opposite one. I mean they, they go in the reverse way. Okay. So if you understand the mechanism for the hydration, you will be also understand the mechanism for the the reaction of alcohol eh? doctor forgot to mention just now when you add alcohol into it what product you will get you will get a, an ether you know R O R okay this is how it used to generate an ether also okay a way to generate an ether so a new functional group is formed from double bond alkene react with the alcohol now you get an ether okay this is how uh, what we call uh, the useful uh, uh, of uh, chemical reaction eh? to form a normally a new functional group okay please write your attendance eh? so now this hyd hydroboration oxida oxidation eh? that means using a borane what is the borane? BH3 okay or sometimes I think you can call it boron uh, trihydride okay but this is a general name boron eh? it's, it's better uh, it's, it's commonly used so in this reaction you are using a BH3 you add the H to the most 
substituted carbon. If the H is added to the most substituted carbon, what does it mean? Eh? Mechanikov or anti Mechanikov? Uh, anti Mechanikov. Eh? Anti Mechanikov rules. So you have to bear attention, uh, pay attention to this. That's why I say in this chapter, you need to know whether your product is Mechanikov, anti Mechanikov, whether it can produce a mixture of sin and uh, anti uh, addition. Or it will only produce an anti-addition. Later you will see eh, some of the some of the mechanism. So when you rule this thing out, so you have to better draw a chart. Okay? This is how you study chemistry. Okay? You have studied so many things, but sometimes you will uh, you, you might confuse during the exam. So you draw a chart, draw it out. What is mechanical product, what is anti-mechanical product, you know, what is a uh, Hoffman product, and list out all the conditions. Then you make your own note, then you study. It's easier for you. Okay? So let's see. So in this case, uh, let's see. Uh, H add to the addition carbon on the same side. This is a sin addition. Okay? Sin addition. Uh, this, this is the example showing you here. You have a double bond. You have a boring in the presence of THF. Uh, Try uh, tetrahydrofuran. This is a solvent used to make the borane more stable. Okay. Then the addition of the H is added to a more most substituted uh, H. I know most substituted carbon. Okay. In this case, this is anti mechanical rules. And the boron B another one uh, because they have BH three BH there are BH two here added into the uh, less substituted side. Later, we'll explain the reason why. Then, after that, you react with the hydrogen peroxide in the presence of base. You will get a, a product, a HOH, like a hydration. Eh? In this case, this is this is oxidation step. Okay, that's why it's called hydro. Hydro because it added a H in the presence of uh, borane. Okay, and the second step is a oxidation step. Okay, and you produce a, a added uh, a HOH into it, and the product is anti mechanical and is on, only on the thin position. They are on the same side, so this is the importance of this reaction. So let's see, eh? the alkyl borane is then. I mean, this is the alkyl borane eh? because your borane already added into the. In this case, the double bond become a alkyl group. Okay, uh, alkane already, eh? alkyl group. Okay, is then oxidized to the alcohol, which is the anti mechanical product. Because the first step already anti mechanical, and the second step is only the oxidation of this uh, alkyl borane to form an OH group. Therefore, your final product is a syn, what we call anti mechanical orientation with the syn stereochemistry. Okay, so you can also expect in your test, it will ask you, you know, it will test you A, B, C, D. What are the product of the uh, what we call hydroboration oxidation? Uh, or give you a condition BH3 uh, and the presence of H2O2 OH negative. Okay, and then you, you need to ask uh, whether it's a syn product or anti product or it's a mixture of syn and anti, okay, for either following Mechanikov or not following Mechanikov. All of this you have to, have to study. Uh. So, or you can also use now is a borane BH3. You can also use R2BH. R2 means it attached to a two alkyl group. Okay, one other example given is 9BBN. Very long name, you do not need to know. Okay, you just have to remember the, the acronym 9BBN, eh? 9 bo bore bicyclic 331 nodin. Okay, uh, this structure we show you here. Uh, you do not need to. To memorize the structure, so huh? it's enough to recognize this name. Maybe A, B, C, D. What type of so uh, reagent can be used for hydroboration oxidation reaction? Oxidation, of course, you need to use H2O2 and OH. Okay, so give you A, B, C, D, you choose BH3, uh, 9BBN, uh, HBr, uh, PBr3. Then you choose a 1, 2 combination, 1 plus 2, uh, all this. Huh? Okay, clear? So now we are going to study about their yeah, mechanism. Eh? The borane exists as a dimer because you can, you, you can imagine in, 
equivalent with its monomer. This is a monomer, two monomer, because they can form something like a, I don't know, know what is it called, a hydrogen bond, maybe not hydrogen bond, but it can form a dimer, a very stable dimer like this. Okay? So borane is a very toxic, flammable, explosive gas. So normally you use it, okay, safe to use it complex with tetra hydrofuran. Uh, furans. That's why you always see BH3 dot THF. Okay, when in the prison presence of THF, the borane is more stable. Okay. So now let's see. Let, let's look at the mechanism. Then we can understand why it yield a anti-mechanical product. Although in the test it's not important, but in the final exam, uh, you may be asked to propose the mechanism for hydroboration boration eh? only the first step let's see eh? now the electron deficient borane adds to the least substituted carbon due to the steric hindrance as well as the charge distribution that means it is easier for the borane this is more substituted you see this is less substituted so the first reason why uh, so called the boron added into here is because uh, the steric hindrance second one also is the distribution of the charge if the boron added here it make the adjacent proton slightly more positive if this is slightly more positive you have more substituted group making the carbon more stable okay the intermediate more stable similar to the one that we have studied before okay so you must be able to draw this out the dot line showing the breaking of bond and also showing the, uh, the forming of bond in this case, eh, the breaking of bond here. So from here, this is what we call the more stable transition state. Compared to this one, this one is more substituted, okay, steric hindrance and uh, this because the adjacent proton will be a slightly positive charge and there is less substituted. So this transition state is less stable. So in your exam, you must be able to show these two transition state out and state that this is more stable transition state. Therefore, it yield a anti-mechanical product. Okay. So because the boron attached to the less of uh, less of the side, the adjacent carbon in this case acquire a a positive charge. Okay, a positive charge. Clear? So now, and H add to the adjacent carbon on the same side, same side, eh? because it can, because they add together. You see, the, the step happen is a concerted step, a uh, step. Okay, it happened at the same time. So therefore, because of the static, it added on the same side. Eh? So it yield a thin anti mechanical product. This is a very important uh, information for you. Okay. Oxidation to alcohol. The second step will involve the oxidation of the alkyl borane in this case with basic, what we call basic mean in the presence of sodium hydroxide, hydrogen peroxide, hydrogen peroxide H2O2. H2O2, you see, H2O2 is the oxidation agent in the presence of the base solution, sodium hydroxide. If you want to show this, then you put H, H2O eh? because this is aqueous solution. If not, it's enough to put H2O2, comma, OH negative. Okay, OH negative is also showing eh? an aqueous basic solution. Okay, so this will lead to the oxidation process from BH2. In this case, oxidized become OH. Okay, the mechanism. Is showing here, but you do not, do not need to know the mechanism. Eh? This is just an extra information. I, I, I put it here. Addition in four. You have too many so called mechanisms to memorize. Eh? This is just to show you if you are curious. Okay, enough. How, what, does, uh, uh, what are the mechanisms? And you can refer eh, to this slide. So, the doctor is not going to cover because it's very long. Okay, and quite complicated. And if I, eh, and you do not need to know, but for curiosity, yes. Okay. 
So let me continue. So far, do you have any question? Yeah. So today you learn. So far, how many new reaction ready? The first one is hydration. Second one is the reaction of alkene with alcohol. Third one is this hydro boration oxidation reaction. Yeah. So this hydro boration oxidation reaction is a two step reaction. Yeah. First step, react with the BH3 in the presence of THF. Okay. Then forming a, a syn anti mechanikov product, which is HBH2. Then the oxidation step followed by H2O2 in the presence of the sodium hydroxide or OH. Then you form a convert the or oxidize the BH2 group to a OH. Okay, very simple, isn't it? It's very simple, but when there are too many mechanisms uh, or too many reactions, you will confuse. So better. Draw, draw a summary. Eh? So, and also, this time we mentioned you can also use this 9 BBN to replace the what we call the uh, borane. Okay, the mechanism step is the same. So, you will get a, uh, uh, you, you can also show this, eh? pay attention here. Eh? Because this now it didn't show how does it form, how does this one form. Actually, the double bond uh, have to. Attack the H. Okay, then this one form here. So it is showing here. Showing here. Right? Oh no, uh, in this case it's different, uh, sorry. Uh. In this case, because this borane, the H acts as a hydride. Okay, it's a hydride, it's not a hydrogen, it's a hydride. Because it attached to a matter. Okay, make the H something like this. Okay, something like NaH. This is actually NaH negative. Of course, this is ionic bond. In this case, this is covalent bond. Okay, but because this is very positive, okay, making it this one negative. So the mechanization step, okay, is from the in this case from this bond. Okay, this one is like a hydride. You can imagine like a hydride, but it's a covalent bond. Attack the carbon. And this bond break to form here. This is how it's formed. Okay. Uh, sometimes we will get confused also. Huh? You mix up with the ROH. Uh, or no, mix up with the HBr. So the H you have to pay attention whether it's a hydride or it's a electrophile. Okay. So uh, after you got this, then it's the same. This can undergo oxidation step. Okay. It will undergo oxidation step. Right, uh, just read and see. Since only one BH bond is needed for hydroboration, just now the BH3 have three H, isn't it? Commercially available dialkyl borane having the general structures R two BH are sometimes used instead of BH three. A common example is this uh, nine BBN. Okay, so the mechanism for the this step. It's not shown here, but you must be able to show it's actually from this bond. Eh? I repeat, it's from this bond, it's a hydride bond to attack the carbon, and this bond attack here as a nucleo. Uh, in this case, this is like an electrophile here. Eh? This is electron, uh, what we call uh, more electron eh? attack here. So this one attack there, attack here. You, do, you cannot tell which step happened first, but it's always, you can also show this is a concerted step. Okay, it can be this attack here, then this one come here, or they happen at the same time. Okay, so you then only you form this intermediate. Okay, so in the exam, if I ask you to show the mechanism for the boration, uh, hydro boration, you must you need to show the curry arrow. Huh? So when you got the notes, you better better show. Okay, because this is missing, the, the curry arrow is missing. You will not get a mark for this. You only get mark for the intermediate. Okay? Clear? So now we go to the addition of halogens. Halogen is what? Huh? I mean, a group 7, isn't it? Either Br2, okay, Cl2, or I2. Uh, this mechanism is slightly different from the HBr or HCl mechanism okay so you need to pay attention here okay halogen 
Either it's chlorine or bromine and sometimes iodine add to a double bond to form a vicinal dibromide. Okay, vicinal dibromide means they are next to each other. Okay, the two X added into here. From double bond become X here. It's added here. And now uh, you have to pay attention eh? because this is just a general general so-called uh, uh, formula. In fact, in reality, the addition is anti-addition. And anti-addition means one x at here, the other x is on the opposite side. Okay, so don't be confused by this. Eh? And this reaction is stereospecific. What is stereospecific? That means it tends to form a single type, eh? in this case, a single type of product. Okay, or, uh, or sometimes we call it stereoselective. Stereoselective, it, it might form one is major product, one is minor product. Okay, this is what we call stare selective. Specific means only one product. Okay. So how is the mechanism of halogenation? Uh, this is important. Eh? Please see here. Uh, the step one is a pi electron. Is for the double bond for this uh, what we call electrophilic addition reaction. The first step is always from the attack of the double bond to a electrophile. In this case, the electrophile is a Br because uh, you see, eh, you still remember, for example, if you are using HBr and double bond, the mechanism is what? The mechanism is this is electrophile. This is slightly positive, this is slightly negative. Then this one attack here, the bond break, isn't it? But now this is different. Uh, you see, you have to pay attention to the difference of the mechanism. What is the first step? The first step is also from the double bond, attack the Br. Okay, uh, but now uh, what happened is it form a, a bromonium ion. A bromonium ion. How, how does it form? Uh, let's see, eh? this is not a complete one. Okay, eh? uh, let, let's look at here. This is the two, 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 two structures. Okay. Double bond, CH3, C CH3, CH3. CH3. Okay, you have a bromine. This is not complete, eh? this, uh, this, this mechanism in your textbook is better, I think. Eh? So this attack here, okay, after this attack here, this will break also. Okay, but how does it form here? Uh, let's see, eh? See your textbook? Your textbook? Does it show? How does it form? Okay, eh? so it's missing. Eh? One, one step is missing. What is missing? Is this one. Okay. BR, BR. Eh? So this one attack here, this one come here, and this one break. Okay, so this doesn't show. How does the the epoxidation is formed. Eh? This is like a, something like a three membrane carbocation, uh, three membrane, not carbocation, eh? uh, an intermediate. Okay, if you pay, if you look at your book, okay, this is slightly missing eh? because it's a bit confused. If you show this, okay, and this one break, it doesn't show how does the bond is formed. Okay, if you look at your textbook, uh, it's like this. Okay, so when you got the notes, please change it eh? because this one. It doesn't show how does the, the three membrane is formed. Okay, so in actual, it's the double bond, attack the BR, and now it's forming a new bond and at the same time it breaks. Okay, this is what your textbook shows, isn't it? Eh? This is what your, uh, your textbook shows. It, it, it looks uh, more uh, what we call, uh, easier to see because the reason is you have a lone pair. Okay, so this lone pair can form. Okay, better show it here. Eh? 
Now the electron, what we call, uh, this is more electron glass here, attack here, a lone pair forming a, a new bond here. Okay, so this is a, a what we call formation of a new bond. Okay, then this is also, this is a breaking a bond and the formation of a new bond. Then only your Br, you will get a, in this case a Br, acquire a positive charge. Okay, you still have a two lone pair of electron, but you do not need to show. Okay, this is a CH3 here, a CH3 here, and a CH3 here, CH3 here. And generation of a Br negative. Okay, uh, this is the complete so called the, the mechanism. Okay, you must be able to, uh, to show this. Okay, the double bond, I repeat, attack the Br because when the Br close to the double bond, close to this double bond, it will become a slightly positive and this is slightly negative. Uh, although in the new, they are neutral form, they are equal. Okay, this is something like a Van der Waals force. Okay, when you go close to an electron cloud, because you imagine this is uh, what we call two electron clouds are uh, up on top and below of the double bond. Okay, when you approach the electron clouds, okay, because the electron cloud is negative, slightly negative, one of the Br become closer to the double bond, become slightly positive, and this becomes slightly negative. Okay, now the double bond, okay, attack the double bond, attack one of the Br, which is slightly positive, and the lone pair here attack the other carbon to forming this intermediate okay with a br with a positive charge okay so you must be able to to draw this up okay after that and also a generation of the uh, a, a bromide bromide anion so the next step so you imagine this is the first step okay this formation of this is the first step then the next step will be the br negative in this case eh, they are Symmetrical, so there is no issue which side you attack. Okay, so the Br negative will attack the carbon here and the bond break. Okay, so you will yield a anti addition product. Anti addition product. Okay, so this is uh, different. Okay, the just just now the hydro boration reaction you yield a, a syn product. Now you yield a anti addition product. Eh? So this is stereo specific also. Okay. So let's see. Eh? So the halide ion in this case approach from the side opposite the tree membrane. That means you have to attack from here. Okay. Because the BR is here, it cannot attack from above. If you attack from above, you will get a, a syn product. Okay. For example, you attack from here. I attack from here, the bond break, you will get a, a syn product. But now you attack from the opposite side. Then you get an anti product. The Br is on the opposite. Actually, this doesn't show eh, the Br should be here, the other Br should be here. It, it presents in a different way. Eh? Because your Br attack from here, this bond break. Okay? If you show curry here, so you have a Br negative, attack from here, this bond break. So your you what, what you will get a Br here, a Br here uh, with a CH3, 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 CH3. This is your product. Okay, this one better showing the, the product. Okay, so you might like to change a little bit and add it, added this into, uh, into the mechanism. If not, when you study the time, you might be confused. How does this three membrane uh, intermediate is formed? Okay. And you can further check your textbook. Okay, so this one, I, uh, I, I will change it next time. Okay. So now, so this reaction, uh, now we go to the, uh, the same similar reaction, in this case using a, a chlorine. Okay. So consider the chlorination of cyclopentane. This is cyclopentane to afford both enantiomer of trans 1, 2 dichloropentane with no cis product eh, because their reaction is uh, anti product. Okay, and the mechanism before I forget eh, initial addition of the electrophile C positive from this one occur from either side of the plane. Okay, so it can as I said, there are two electron clouds one on the top, one on below. 
so it can happen from the two either side of the plane so in this case this is from the top uh, this one is from the textbook this is better huh? Be better presentation of uh, compared to this just now the double bond will attack the carbon and the lone pair forming a new bond in this case this uh, intermediate uh, C positive is on the top okay and if you add it from below okay add it from below okay it's the same process and the breaking of the bond and uh, this one these two are identical okay identical so it, it's the same eh? if you can show also this be are positive from there then because why because you see eh, the product form eh? if you want to draw do you think that this product and this product are the same they are the same eh? these two are the same although you see the br is on the different side you just flip it over okay uh, they can overlap each other okay they are <coughs> so in this case the following step the following step consider that the coronation of the cyclopentane to afford birth enantiomer okay trans 1 2 which no cis product with no eh? is it the same slide repeat eh? uh, no this is following step with this okay the following step after you have formed this uh, because this is in a cyclic so the result is different okay this is a cyclic this is cyclic now you yield a enantiomer okay a pair of enantiomer you, you say remember when you study chapter 2 okay in a cyclic product the the what we call the geometry the stereochemistry is different from an acyclic product okay so after the first step now the second step the second step is the attack of the chlorine uh, the chloride ion uh, to here so if I attack from here you break you form this okay because now we only consider uh, we only consider because these two these two are identical okay either it's here or here they are identical so we only choose one okay choose the top one because they are the same same thing so we only choose this to consider so now the chloride attack from here so you're forming this product okay if the chloride attack from the other side you form this product okay these are what we call a trans product okay two trans product but these two trans product they are enantiomer because they are in the ring they cannot overlap each other if you flip it over uh, you cannot overlap okay can we not, cannot overlap each other these are a pair of enantiomer so in the second step nucleophilic attack of the chloride must occur from the the back side it, it always happen from the opposite side eh? if your chloride ion is on the top it attack from here in the case of is here it attack from the the opposite side okay and there are two sides it can attack either this side or that side and the product yield is a, a pair of enantiomer product okay clear so since the nucleophile attack from below and the living group depart from above the two correct atoms in the product of oriented uh, oriented trans to each other eh? they cannot be on the same side that's why for the halogenation the product is a anti product eh? this is a different from the hydroboration eh? reaction hey, better uh, we have to finish so this is a further representation of the of the same same reaction ah oh, okay let's see eh? whether is a this this is also a pair of uh, enantiomer eh? if you compare these two can you overlap you cannot overlap eh? because if you flip over here you cannot overlap so it's better to show it uh, one is a some are okay if you are a cis if this is in the cis cis uh, stereochemistry the product is a pair of enantiomer if these are a trans the product is a, a meso compound okay you you go back and work out eh, the mechanism and you will see eh, if this is a cis you see eh, both of them are at a chiral alkenes if this is a cis one because the addition of the br2 is anti addition one from here one from here or one from here one from here this is yield a pair of enantiomer if you are a pair of 
a trans in this case you will yield a pair of metal compound okay you need some time to work it out eh? from the chapter 2 you have to see you have to uh, go back and check eh? the stereochemistry so uh, the test for unsaturation uh, this is how we differentiate a BR2 and uh, what we call uh, in the coral form eh? if a decarbonization it shows that the alkene is present okay this one you study in SPM doctor need to be quick because now it's uh, almost 10 o'clock but you can, I believe you are able to study. Eh? Uh, so now we go to halo hydrogen reaction. Halo hydrogen reaction. If a halogen is added in the presence of water, a halo hydrogen is formed. Okay, let's see the mechanism. In this case, you are using the NBS. Okay, you added OH and Br into it. Okay, NBS is a source for the uh, bromination, eh? bromination, and in the presence of DMSO and H2O. Okay, this is everything is in your notes. Eh? So you can study and try to understand. If you cannot understand, you come and ask doctor. Okay, and the first step of the mechanism is the same with what I have to show you the uh, halogenation. Eh? The second step is different because now you are using a water molecule. Okay. So I believe this one, if you are able to understand the halogenation, then you are able to understand this also. Okay. This is this example showing you how this reaction is used in the total synthesis. Okay. This is more uh, retro synthesis. This one we are not cover in the test. When we have time, uh, after we come back from our test one, we, 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 will, we will focus on this. Okay? We will focus on this. But at the same time, you can study first. Huh? We will come back to this, this slide after your test two. Okay? But you have to study this, huh? hello, hydrogen reaction. Uh, this is the only thing you go back and study by your own. Huh? Once you have understood the halogenation, it is not difficult for you to understand this. This is a very long chapter. Okay? So I will see you on next Monday for test 2 at day 1 preparation D okay donkey okay at 12 to 1 eh?